it is Friday. It is this little baby girl's due date today. Say, I'm just a little early. You don't get that from me, little Bobby. I'm not one to ever get anywhere early. I am currently ah, dropping this ball of yarn. Now I'm currently balling up this yarn because somebody, not naming any names, but somebody that has a bottle in their mouth right now, decided that they wanted to completely unravel it. Even though I've already taken the same yarn away from him like three times. So now that it's all over the floor, I'm balling it up, which is a super fun use of my time. So, today's been pretty chill. My parents came over for a bit. They actually don't have power right now. Most of Louisville doesn't have power right now because we had all that ice and I guess just knocked a lot of power lines out. We luckily do still have power. We never lost it. So that was a great um, thing that happened to us. We didn't have to worry about heat and keeping little Bobby warm or any of that stuff. Um, but did kind of worry me last night by kind of, I mean like completely terrified me. I, um, I was feeding her yesterday like normal um, and she would start like coughing during feedings and just, you know, those little coughs like people get when you like swallow a liquid down the wrong tube, uh, like that. And I wasn't like, I kind of figured that's what it was, was like, okay, she went from little drops of colostrum to actual milk. It's going to take her just a second to figure that out. So I wasn't too worried about it. She would just cough. I'd pull her off. I'd burp her a little bit, clear the cough. And yesterday, because I didn't really know better. I would stop feeding her at that point. So Chris was sleeping and I was just like out here all by myself, just feeding her like normal. She did, this is a really big knot that I'm working on right now. Are you comfy? Oh, she's smiling. Oh, can you do that again? Are you comfy? Gosh, you're so sweet. I wish you could get her to smile again. It was a legit smile. Oh, oh, almost, you almost did it. Okay, might be biased, but I'm pretty sure that she's like the cutest baby that's literally ever existed ever. Did she just smile again? Did I just miss it? <gasps> There's a little smile! There's a little smile! I don't care if it's not a real smile. I see a smile. Mm, you happy little baby, aren't you? Oh, I can't even like look at her without getting distracted. So, right, and she coughed. She coughed like she had been kind of doing all day. Which kind of seemed like she gotten something on the wrong pipe. And I picked her up to try and like help her clear the cough. And let me just preface this part. Okay. When we were in the hospital, she, like 30 minutes after she was born, I tried to feed her. She didn't cough or anything, but I just noticed like, look at the color was kind of draining out of her face a little bit. And I don't know much about babies and at that point it was like virtually nothing so luckily my doula was in the room and i just looked at her and i was like hey does she look a little less pink and my doula looked at her and was just like i'll go get the nurse so like when i she did that i picked her up real quick and like kind of just started patting her on the back because i could see she was like actually turning blue like on her head and like on her chest and the nurse came in saw her and like ran out of the room to go get someone else and like the two nurses came back in grabbed her real quick like i didn't even see what they were doing to her but she cried you know within probably like i don't know 10 seconds of having her it felt like longer but she started crying and ended up everything was fine she just had some amniotic fluid still in her lungs and when i went to feed her i don't know if it just like so something kind of choked her and she just got the fluid or whatever but they ended up having to deep suction her and she ended up being fine like nothing else came of it but I literally saw my baby turn blue and have to like have medical attention so then fast forward to last night 
when I pick her up and she's coughing and I'm just patting her like I was, but then I see her do one of these numbers where she's like, like her like little throat things pop out where I can tell like she's trying to take a breath and not able to. And it just like scared the living daylights out of me. I did not know that that's something that could happen. So like I really quickly, like I flipped her over on her stomach and was like hitting her like on the back, like really hard. I mean, not, not like beating her or anything, but just trying to help her clear it. And I don't even know how quickly she cleared it. Like I was probably hitting her before, after she got it out, but I was so, so scared that like the last time I had seen something like this happen, it was, you know, out of my like realm of capabilities. And so I did that and she gobbled up and started, she didn't even cry though. Like she just started breathing normal, which I was like, like hard to hear. So I was like trying to like, are you breathing? And she never turned color or anything like that. It just, I saw her not be able to breathe for a second and literally like was probably the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, it was even scarier than in the hospital because at this point I was just me by myself with her. No nurses around to take over or anything. Um, so right, like I get her cleared and I just kind of like put her on my chest and like I couldn't even move. I was just so like relieved I was so scared and then I was so relieved and I just started like crying I couldn't help it I was just crying and like couldn't even move and Chris like came out of the room and he's like what's wrong and I you know told him everything and I texted my doula I called my mom and my mom of course was just like oh it's normal they can choke sometimes I was like no you didn't see her like she was like legit like couldn't breathe at all so I called her pediatrician they have like a 24-hour line because it's kind of late at night um kind of said the same thing they're like yeah but like especially when your milk comes in like babies can choke and you did the right thing like you know holding her up and patting her and everything and at this point you know I was just so like I was so afraid to feed her after because I mean, what the heck she was like choking is normal that's crazy um but yeah everyone was telling me it was normal and I was just like still so afraid. I was like, how am I gonna feed her? Like being, contemplating just switching to a bottle to like not have that happen again. Um, but then my doula like got back with me and she said, you know, it's scary because what happened in the hospital. She's like, I hear why you're like so afraid. Um, but it is normal and like she'll learn and things will get better. And I don't know, the way she said it, it made me feel a lot better. Cause it wasn't just like, oh, that's normal, like, you're freaking out, kind of thing. It was like, I was there, I saw it too. Um, you know, it's understandable that, that you're really afraid right now. But you, you'll get through this, she'll get through this, and everything will be fine. And so, made me feel better. I have been feeding her today. The nurse from the pediatrician's office gave me a couple of tips for one. I feeding her like in the football hold now I'm just trying to like prop her up as much as possible to help like avoid you know any milk kind of like getting I guess in her throat and then I keep like one of those bulb syringes nearby when I feed her because I asked the nurse I was like well, what if patting her doesn't work what if she can't clear it and she said you use this you can use the syringe at that point I've been feeding her today things have been fine she's coughed a little here and there um, I think I'm feeding her a little bit better because like I'm actually feeding her after she coughs too. She'll cough sometimes while she's latched and not even like come off and I just kind of let her do it. It still feels like super weird to, to not like check her, like really check her every time. But I guess she kind of knows what she's doing maybe more than I give her credit for and it's apparently normal. So any new moms out there? Prepare yourself for that, like, possibility that sometimes babies choke on breast milk and it's just something that happens, apparently. I don't know. I'm gonna show you a little bit more baby face before I, before I say goodbye, cause it's so cute. Oh. Mm, hey. Oh, don't give me sad face. Don't give me sad face. Oh, you gonna open your little eyeballs? Please open your eyeballs. No, you're just gonna chill. You're so comfy.
You tell me, say, I know what I'm doing, Mom. I can feed. You don't gotta worry about me. <laughs> you love you, little Bobby. Thank you so much for watching. And just uh, give this video a thumbs up and comment and subscribe if you want to keep watching me go through being a new mom and learning as I go because that's basically all I'm doing. Um, yeah. Alright, bye.